Here's a quick tip. You can type colon in VS Code's go to symbol view to group the symbols by type. In this TypeScript file, for example, I'm going to open up the go to symbol view by using Control Shift O on Windows and Linux or Command Shift O on Mac. And you can see that the go to symbol view here is listing all the symbols in the current file. And by default, these symbols are listed in order of where they appear in the file. So we have timeout here and then localize after that. So all different types of symbols are getting mixed together. Here, timeout is a uh, constant, for example. And then we have things like enumerations down here. If we scroll down further, we have things like classes and constructors that are also getting mixed in here as well. Now, we can actually type colon to then group these symbols by type instead. So I'm just going to type colon. And you can see that when I did this, VS Code is now listing all of these symbols grouped together by type. We can see that all of these symbols share the same icon. And then over here on the right-hand side, we can actually see what type we are looking at. So all of the classes are now grouped together. All of the constructors are grouped together, enumerations, functions, and so on. Now, we can still go through the list the same as normal. So I can just use the arrow keys to navigate through the list. Now I'm just arrowing through all of the functions, for example. And if we wanted to filter things down, we can even do typing. So I can just go in here and start typing. And now we have all of these symbols still grouped together, but it's filtered them down to only have the ones that contain the word watch somewhere in there. Again, to group the symbols by type, all you need to do is type colon. So that's a quick look at how you can group symbols by type in the go to symbols view.